What's up, YouTube? It's man, Black Reality TV, back at y'all with another one. So I want to talk about this heated, man, chippy press conference today, man, between Canelo Alvarez and Kayla Plant. Uh, fights going down November the 6th, man, and shit, that, sh that, that press conference was real interesting, man. Um, both of them drawing back and forth with each other. Kayla Plant, Canelo Alvarez, Kayla Plant, you know what I'm saying, bringing up uh, Canelo Alvarez and uh, Oscar Valdez, his whole team uh, popping dirty for performance enhancing drugs. Um, you know what I'm saying? They was drawn back and forth. They got um, in the face off. They got nose to nose. And I don't know what was all said. You know what I'm saying? I guess Caleb Plant called him a motherfucker. And then, you know what I'm saying? Canelo pushed him. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he that, that, that push was strong. He, he got flew back. You know what I'm saying? Real far, you know what I'm saying? Caleb Plant came up close, man, uh, slapped him, and it did connect. A lot of people were sitting there already doing videos talking about he weaved that. No, nah, I know he didn't. He didn't weave that shit. He got pimp slapped with that left hand, you know what I'm saying? But Canelo did come back, you know what I'm saying? And caught him with the left of his own, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Caleb Plant got a little cut uh, over his eye. Um, I, mean, his eye, I don't think it's going to be a situation where it's going to push the fight back due to that cut. Hopefully not, you know what I'm saying? We still we still got, I think, like six weeks of some change to um, the fight. So I, I'm pretty sure he, if he does need to get stitches, I think it'd be some light stitches that need to be done. I don't think it's going to hinder him for far as sparring where it's going to, uh, that cut is going to reemerge. I, I think they will do a good job of getting that thing situated to where the fight ain't going to be a pushback, but you know what I'm saying? My takeaway is, man, Kayla Plant is showing uh, Canelo Alvarez no respect, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of these dudes fighting Canelo, man. I got the head down. You know what I'm saying? No confidence. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really got shit to say. You know what I'm saying? Most Canelo press conferences be dry as shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. And you know what I'm saying? Caleb Plant, you said poking his chest out, said, dude, I'm coming here. I'm coming here to win. And then I get that vibe from Caleb Plant that Canelo, uh, uh, Caleb Plant really believes he's going to win this fight. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be a much better fight than what a lot of people think. A lot of people think that Canelo Alvarez is going to blow through Caleb Plant. I don't see it that way. I think it's going to be a very close competitive fight. I think both guys are going to have that moment. I'm going to save my prediction of who I think is going to win the fight. To um, it gets close, probably like a week or two before the fight, before I really make a prediction. But I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on the uh, press conference. And before I wrap this up, you know what I'm saying? I, I heard um, Eddie Reynoso, Canelo Alvarez trainer, uh, they he was talking about Caleb playing and him uh, basically airing out his whole team. You know what I'm saying? And the thing I get Caleb playing credit is he's not one of these type of dudes that's going to post shit on the internet rapping, talking shit. He's going to say that shit to your face. You know what I'm saying? Because when the whole thing, Oscar Valdez came, uh, situation, where he popped in, the WBC allowed him to continue to fight. You know what I'm saying? That whole bullshit. And he called that shit out said, look, man, that shit's wrong. We need to clean up the sport of boxing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and in and, and the media trying to cover it up. Notice how the media is saying the words. I, I was listening to an interview on ESPN after the press conference, and they interviewed Caleb Plant, and the reporter saying that as allegations. And Caleb Plant checked that shit right away. He said that shit is not allegations. Canelo Alvarez popped dirty 2018 for performance hands drugs, WBC. They changed the rules for him just like they did Oscar Valdez. He served six months suspension, which was to me is really some not a suspension. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really miss no motherfucking time. But you know what I'm saying? The WBC back in Mexican fighters, and you know they they got they got the WBC in their back pocket. You know, and Canelo Alvarez already you know what I'm saying trying to plant seeds in the you know what I'm saying in the judges talking about he gonna run he gonna run and this and that. These dudes they are scared of out. Boxers, guys who can stick and move, guys that can evade shots, guys who can counter punch, get their shots off, fire off, circle around the ring, pivot, all that stuff. He's worried about that shit. And he knows that he has not done well with that style. Canelo Alvarez has not shown him throughout his whole career that he can handle that style 
in a 12 round fight on a consistent basis. He has not shown that. So I'm really excited about the fight. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Eddie Reynoso sitting back talking about they uh, people are attacking uh, Mexico. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm so sick of these sick of these dudes. Every single time we call out their dirty, cheating ways, they want to hide behind a country. They want to hide behind a flag. Nobody's talking about Mexico. Nobody's talking about the flag. Nobody, nobody's talking about that. We're talking about your team. And you have multiple members, four members of your team, Eddie Reynoso, that has popped dirty over the last three to four years for performance enhancing drugs. This ain't got shit to do with Mexico. Stop hiding behind it. Stop trying to avoid and dodge the questions. Your camp is dirty. And they, and that's that's your best response is hiding behind a flag, man. These motherfuckers ain't no different than, than the people right here in the States. But let me know what y'all think about this, man. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, man. If you want to donate to the channel, links will be in the scri uh, description box on my Cash App and PayPal, man. Shout out to the LDBC. I'll holler, man. Deuces.